Olympic gold medalist and FIFA World Cup champ Alex Morgan is likely to go down as one of the greatest U.S. women's soccer players of all time. But just how did she get to this point? From her hustle on the field to facing personal challenges of her own, here's her stunning transformation. I'm Alex Morgan, and this is my story. At seven years old, Morgan fell in love with soccer. And because the sport was important to her, it became important to her dad as well. But he faced a huge learning curve when it came to the game. Alex told the Players' Tribune, my dad has always been a baseball guy. He didn't know the first thing about soccer, but when I told him that it was important to me that he watch me play, he got serious fast. I think growing up with sports really gives you that confidence. You grow these personality traits and this confidence that sometimes you might not get if you're not in athletics. When she was nine years old, her dad became her coach. She told Soccer America, my mom was always the super positive supporting parent, and my dad was the thinker who wanted me to see how I could make myself better and help the team. But at the same time, he would listen to me when I said I had enough. I mean, what more can a mother want than for my daughter to actually be a role model, um, you know, for soccer, for women in sports? Just as Morgan headed into her senior year of high school, she was called up to the under-20 national team, according to ESPN. But everything came to a screeching halt when Morgan, then 17 years old, tore her ACL during a scrimmage. She told USA Today, It was a turning point in my life. I struggled emotionally the most. I depended on soccer so much. It was tough doing the same exercises, not being able to run, forgetting how to run when I was first on the treadmill. Um, I set my mind to going to rehab three to four times a week, um, going still to every high school practice, going to every club practice. Morgan missed some of her senior season while rehabbing, but her mom focused on the bright side, telling the outlet, it gave her six months to understand what was taken from her and what she had to do to get it back. The soccer star would continue with rehab when she enrolled at the University of California at Berkeley and make her return to soccer. I went to Cal and I was like, sold. Morgan's star was on the rise towards the end of her career at UC Berkeley. She made her debut for the U.S. women's national team in 2010 and was selected first by the Western New York Flash in the 2011 women's professional soccer draft. But it wasn't until the 2011 World Cup that she would truly become a star. Sports Illustrated reported Morgan scored for the U.S. in the semifinals and again in a losing effort in the final, which is all the more impressive when you consider she was the youngest member on the squad at 22 years old. She told CNN that playing for the U.S. team was initially intimidating at first, admitting, I joined a team with women who I had looked up to for years. How was I supposed to fit in with them? Obviously, Morgan fit in just fine. I don't care if I fail or if I succeed. As long as I try. Life completely changed for Morgan after the 2011 World Cup. She has since landed endorsement deals with Nike, McDonald's, Tampax, Chapstick, Panasonic Beauty, Nationwide, Coca-Cola, and Beats by Dre, among others. Her children's book series, The Kicks, made the New York Times bestseller list and was turned into a TV series for Amazon Prime. I love soccer. The smell of the grass, feel of your foot connecting with the ball, no one can take that away. And in what was a first for women's soccer, she landed on the cover of the FIFA video game franchise 2016 U.S. edition, along with soccer icon Lionel Messi. It's no wonder Morgan, who makes seven figures in endorsements according to her agent via ESPNW, is a regular on Sports Pro's annual 50 Most Marketable lists. But she claims she's selective about which companies she partners with, telling ESPNW, I like to be authentic about who I am and what I promote. Morgan has long been an advocate for body positivity, telling the Post game, so whether your body is athletic or skinny or big-boned, it doesn't matter. You should love it no matter what. And for her, that includes loving her strong calves. Morgan told Shape that people make fun of them, but she added, It's the one body part I am proud of because it's something I was naturally gifted with. But there have been moments when Morgan hasn't felt so sure of herself. After she posed for one of her Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues, trolls attacked her for having a small chest. Her sister Jerry told ESPNW, People are saying she looked like a 13-year-old boy. Although Jerry claimed the situation made Alex briefly consider getting a boob job, the world-class athlete didn't dwell too long on the haters. Morgan's pretty face has been great for her marketability, and in her opinion, it's also good for the sport. She told ESPNW, I've obviously done certain things like Sports Illustrated swimsuit that has guys interested in me not for what I put on the field, but at the end of the day, they're going to turn on the TV next time we have a game. Unlike many of her teammates, Morgan, who watched the runway at New York Fashion Week in 2012, opts to highlight her features for matches. She told Shape, I love playing with a full face of makeup. When I prepare for a match, it's like work, even the way I have to shower and put on my makeup.
Morgan can thank soccer for helping her find her husband. She started dating Servando Carrasco while they were playing soccer at UC Berkeley. The college sweethearts later tied the knot on New Year's Eve in 2014, according to People magazine. Like Morgan, Carrasco plays the sport professionally as a member of the LA Galaxy. He told the Seattle Times that he and Alex give each other feedback after games and that they hold nothing back, saying, "...we definitely criticize each other, I'm not going to lie." Because Carrasco plays in LA and Morgan plays on the opposite side of the country in Orlando, Florida, they don't get to see each other during their seasons as much as they'd like. Morgan posted on Instagram, "...living across the country from the most important person in my life, sometimes the sacrifice we make for football knows no boundaries." What was the hardest is just us, like, expecting to live together and to kind of share, you know, our lives together. There is a special reason Morgan wears her trademark pink headband for games. It is in part a tribute to her mother-in-law, Gloria Carrasco, who is a breast cancer survivor, according to ESPNW. Pink is the official color of breast cancer awareness, and Morgan has been wearing the headband since college, around the time when Carrasco first revealed her diagnosis to her son. But that's not the only reason for Morgan's pink headband, which is actually made of pre-wrap tape that trainers use to protect an athlete's skin from bandages. Morgan likes that it helps her stand out on the field. She told Mueller Sports Wrap, I think my parents just could pick me out from a crowd. You know, pink is one of my favorite colors. The U.S. women's national team bounced back from a disappointing runner-up finish in 2011 by winning the 2015 World Cup. Five days later, the squad was honored with a ticker tape parade through the streets of New York. But the experience was bittersweet for Morgan, who had been battling a knee injury throughout the tournament and would undergo surgery a week after the parade. She told ESPNW, I was held back a little bit, and I didn't reach my personal expectations or goals, even though it was probably one of the best years of my career." Quite possibly the only blemish on Morgan's squeaky-clean resume took place in 2017 at Epcot. Morgan and her friends were kicked out of the Disney World theme park and accused of trespassing, according to the Orlando Sentinel, which cited an Orange County Sheriff's Office incident report. The report stated that they were, quote, "...impaired and being very loud and belligerent towards staff around guests." Morgan referenced the popular tradition of bar hopping at Epcot, posting a group photo on Instagram earlier that day with the caption, "...annual around the world in eight hours. No big." No charges were filed, but Morgan took responsibility for the incident afterward, tweeting, "...I want to apologize for my actions that occurred over the weekend. I will learn from this and make sure it does not happen again." Morgan is one of the world's best soccer players. The former FIFA World Player of the Year finalist won the U.S. Female Soccer Player of the Year award in 2018 and was ranked the number seven female player in the world by The Guardian. But those accolades are presumably just not good enough for Morgan. Her goal is to become the best women's player in the world. She told the news outlet in 2017, "...I still have a way to go. I hope to get there this year or next year." The best player I can be is the best player in the world. In an effort to improve her game, Morgan joined French club Lyon, which is largely considered to be the world's best women's soccer team, on a six-month loan in 2017. In 15 games with the franchise, Morgan scored an impressive 12 goals. With her movie star looks and huge following, Morgan was bound to find herself in Hollywood. Today's the big day, Alex! Where? You're Alex Morgan. I know everything about you. I'm your biggest fan. In 2018, she played herself in the film Alex and Me, a story that revolves around a 13-year-old girl who aspires to become the next Alex Morgan on the soccer field. You might think a super-fit athlete like Morgan would have no problem finding the energy for a film shoot, but she told Pro Soccer USA, "...I'm not used to working 10 to 12 hours a day. I'm used to my three or four hours of intense work and then getting the rest of the afternoon off." I'm definitely not an actress. <laughs> um, I took an acting class once and wasn't so great at it. But this probably won't be the last we see of Morgan in film and TV. She added, "...my soccer career is not going to last forever. For me, it's exploring what I want to do after soccer and what I'm happy with, and also networking through different lines of work." I don't even think my mom knows all that. <laughs> Morgan has been vocal about the pay disparity between the U.S. men's and women's national teams and was one of the many women's players to file a gender discrimination lawsuit against U.S. soccer in 2019. "...We don't want to go us against the men. It's really a fight against our employer." Morgan told Pro Soccer USA, "...this isn't just about us. It's about women in all industries. Women fight for equality every single day. Our hope is that we not only set up ourselves, we set up the next generation as well." And it's not just about pay, either. The women also endure inferior travel and lodging, despite the fact that the women's team has won multiple World Cups, while the men's team has never won a single one as of 2019. Morgan told Good Morning America, "...we've created a lot of revenue for U.S. soccer throughout the years, and you even saw from 2015 we had the most-watched U.S. soccer game in history with the Women's World Cup final." 
Morgan is a Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue veteran, appearing in the highly anticipated issue in 2012 and 2014. I always feel like when you aim for the camera, it's better. Yes! Because you get the better shot. But in 2019, Morgan graced one of three covers along with Tyra Banks and Camille Kostek. This issue has just become more of like a body positivity movement, and I think that that's just women standing up for each other. So why Morgan? While well, the Women's World Cup takes place in June 2019, and Alex, as co-captain of the favorite U.S. women's national team, figures to play a prominent role in the tournament. Sports Illustrated editor MJ Day also told People, Alex Morgan stands for feminine strength and power, using her voice to fight for gender discrimination and equal pay. I just want to inspire little girls to continue in their sports or whatever they're passionate about and really try to achieve their dream. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!